Okay, hello dear friends. In this video, we will do some uh, math fraction, 分数, 分数, 乘法. First, we start from uh, fraction multiplication. First problem, 1 over 2 times 1 over 3 equal to what do we do? We multiply bottom with bottom and uh, top with top. So, okay, we will get another pen, another color pencil. Two times three equal to six. One times one equal to one. And that is it, so simple. And we will do exactly the same method. We exercise a few. And the second one is 1 over 2 times 2 over 3. And the bottom with bottom is 6. And the top with top times top. Bottom times bottom time, uh, top times time is 2 over 6. And that is good if your teacher is not very strict. But um, for me, this is not okay. You have to simplify it. You have to make it to the simplest form. Why do I do it? I like, especially at elementary school level, you are not using it further on to do. Uh, <clears throat> you just need to build up a habit of making everything clean, simplest as possible. I am a, a, a simplest freak. And um, <clears throat> I do not like anything that is not to the most simplest form. So the upper part, you can divide it by both 2 and 6 are the multiples of 2 because they are even number. To understand one thing, when it is even number, it is at least the multiples of 2 can be divided by 2. So both divided by 2, we get 1 over 3. Okay? So when we see this problem, we can start to think. We multiply this way, and how about we multiply right in the middle? Right before we start to do the multiplication, we see on the bottom, upper part, the top, there is two, the multiples of two. And there on the bottom part, there is multiple of two. There is a two. So we can simplify both divided by, by, um, by two. This is one, this is one. So the same problem. Now we say it's third problem. 1 over 2 times 2 over 3 equal 2. Now we simplify it. Cross cancel. 2 and 2 can be cross cancelled. It becomes 1 times 1 and 1 times 3. So 1 over 3. Right? This is much simpler. Question number 4. This is a 2 over 5 times 5 over 6. Okay, so how do we do? We can do as uh, our normal method, bottom times bottom, top times top, 5 times 6 is 30, and the top is 10. Now we simplify, both have a zero, cross cancel this zero, which means a shrink ten, 10 times, 1 over 3. Okay, question number 4, we will do it in, becomes question number 5. We will do exactly the same problem, but we use our simplified method from the beginning. 5 and 5 can be both simplified, divided by 5. 2 and 6, we can, what can we do? Both divided by 2. So on top, 
2 divided by 2 becomes 1. 6 divided by 2 becomes 3. So the result is 1 over 3. So we are getting the same result. It's just to go through different route. So <clears throat> because we are in a country that, uh, that mathematics is... Uh, it's not very, uh, that, that people are proud to say that I'm not good at math. So um, let's try to avoid saying, saying it and um, work on it. Because when you know the method, math is not that difficult. When you understand some tricks, and uh, I am not teaching the trick, I'm not letting you do the trick, but there is trick. It means you understand the problem from the core. And uh, by understanding from the core, it, it facilitates you to solve the problem better, right? Okay, question number six, we will just go ahead with that method with our simplified, first simplified method. Because when number becomes big, you have to 35 over, 16 over 35 times uh, 160. Let's do, bottom is 160. And the top is, is uh, 49. So what do we see? First, if you, if you know math, you first need to know that 35 and 49, they are both multiples of 7. And timetable is the most important thing in arithmetic. So you have to know this by heart. Both divided by 7, 5, 7, and 16 and 160. Both divided by 6 becomes 10. So the result is 50 over, a uh, 7 over 50. Just imagine if you use the old method, you would multiply 35 times 160 and on the top will be 16 times 49 you will be able to do it and there was one time i i let student i asked student and uh, try to persuade them to do the simplified method and she said, no, I will put into computer and uh, calculator and then it solve everything. Yes, it can solve everything. But the joy of figuring out the number relationship, there is such a meditative quality in doing math and such a, a joy in doing math that you figure out the relation by yourself and the... And by, by knowing the number later on, you will not be confused by numbers. A lot of time, we do not understand mass formula and mass calculation because we do not see the number relationship. If we understand the relationship 16 and 160, you can see it, 35, 40, 49 there is a magic number to 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 help you to to figure out the relationship and the magic number is 7 so this will be so complicated right why do you need to to go this route see the number relations and help you solve the problem much simpler and easier okay now we do the last one Let me see. question number 7 122, no, no, it's a little bit too big. 121, I was trying. Okay. Number 7, 81 as a bottom, and on top is 25 times 
and this one will be 27 over 50. Oh, see, it, uh, it is quite uh, complicated, seems. But we know 2 plus 7 is 9, so it's the multiple of 9. 8 plus 1 is the multiple of, uh, of, uh, uh, of 9. So you can, and also up to this stage, 81 and 27, you immediately get the connection. It's 3 times 9 and 9 times 9. 25 and 50, it's just a half of 25, right? You have two quarter bill, it, two, quarter, two quarters makes 50 cents, right? Two, both divided by uh, 25. Both divided by nine, three, nine. Oh, why both divided by nine? We can still keep on three and one. So it becomes one over six. One over six. So it makes us solving, solving the problem much easier this way instead of uh, multiplying all this number and then simplify it. Mm. Okay, and um, and that is about it. Thank you very much.